Hello, and welcome back to more World of Warcraft. Haha, -ha. I am back in my class hall. Uh, minor technical difficulties. Uh, turning on that, turn, actually going into that quest. I'm not really sure what happened, but it just caused my game to crash last time. So, yeah, I came back here and uh, went through some of my missions, went through some of my follower stuff, and I got enough for another upgrade. So, let us get... Mimic Templar's Verdict, Divine Storm, dealing 10% normal damage. Boom! Finally got that. Finally got enough points to get that. Ah. But yeah, it is the 20th. It is uh, a few days since I last recorded, except I decided to take a break after that. After my game just crashed when I tried to load into that area. Ah. But it is the 20th of September, which means it is Brewfest. Brewfest is active. Brewfest is up. And we can actually go do that. Uh, well, we could, if there was anything new. But I did go over there already and check it out. And it doesn't look like there's anything particularly new this year. I mean, there is uh, uh, basically some, like, toys and pets and stuff like that. But nothing all that really interesting. Nothing I really care about. Uh, and I don't think I can go into the dungeon. Can I go into the dungeon, though? I can't even go into the dungeon right now. I have to be 110 to enter Corin Dire Brew's uh, holiday event dungeon thing. But if I can get to 110 before it ends, I might be able to get a new trinket. One of those high-level trinkets that is assuming they actually updated it. Uh, but yeah, I really do need to get to 110. Right now I am at 105. I am nearly 106. So let's get back over to High Mall. High Mountain. Not High Mall. High Mountain. And see if we can actually get that quest done. And hopefully it doesn't crash us this time. Okay, here we are back in High Mountain. And we actually have some more quests. There's actually some more quests here we can do. So let's go ahead and grab these up. Greetings, traveler. Uh, let's see. Three Fright the Moon Striders. Look okay. Moon whatevers. These guys. Mountain Striders, not Moon Striders. I misread that. And let's grab up this one as well. Uh, what's this one? Well Find Ethel Water Reuniter with her family at the Hammer's Cradle and Totem. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I can do that afterwards. I want to get back down there, see if we can actually get this quest done, or if it's going to crash us out again. Hopefully it does not crash us, because, yeah, that was annoying. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, just made it in time. Ah. But yeah, Brewfest is back. Hello, ho. <laughs> Brewfest is back. Uh, I really do like Brewfest. It was always a nice one. It was a fun little uh, thing to do. And you you have the chance of getting two different mounts out of it. And, and well, not this one anymore. Not the Brewfest mount. I've talked about that before. Uh, let's outsider. see. Is this going to crash us again? The ancestors watch no. Over you. Are we actually going to get into it? Uh but yeah, Brewfest was always a nice one, especially Home once they the added the two mounts that can drop. So, time, yeah, you just have the to... Call of Crassus, he defied the Legion and defeated many demons with the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spear. Blah, blah, blah. Defeat the demons! Fight the demons! Kill the demons! Ah. So, yeah. Uh, you have two different mounts you can get. Ah. Let's go. Ah. Two different mounts you can get. The, uh... Ram... The Ram and the... Uh, what is it? What is it? Ah, here we go, here we go. Let's run! Run! Aha! Ba -ba -ba -ba. But yeah, the Ram and the the uh, Kodo. And yeah, I do have both of them, so I don't really need to get either one. So the only reason I really want to get in there, really want to get into that dungeon, is just so I can uh, hopefully get a mount. Get the, not the mount, the uh, trinket. Because the trinkets are usually updated with each new uh, expansion. Or at least that's been the case up till now. Every year, every new expansion, it had a new uh, set of trinkets. Basically, an updated version of the previous tr previous Old version of the trinkets. But yeah, I really do want to get one because they're fairly nice. Uh, some of them are fairly nice, and I really do want to get one because they they are probably going to be epic, or at the very least, they're going to be blues. Maybe 810 item level, 820. Maybe better, who knows. They might actually have a chance to upgrade, like all the other stuff has a chance to upgrade. So if it does, woohoo, bonus. 
But yeah, uh, I just need to get to 110 before it ends, and hopefully I'll be able to get something good out of it. Yeah, let's turn this in. Uh, yeah, this is this is one of those uh, what is it called? I don't even know what this what uh, this kind of quest is called, where you just take control of another character. When were these kind of quests added? Was it Wrath of the Lich King? I don't remember them being in Burning Crusade. I remember them being in Wrath of the Lich King. That was really the first time I really remember them. Because it was what it was one of those quests in where was it? Hole sought Ekero, uh, a beast injured in combat. That troll zone humans. where you took control of the giant. As well as in the Ice Crown where you took control of Arthas. You, basically a vision Gorridge, of Arthas. I remember the that. Of Hull and his Tauren reinforcements. Crassus, so, huh. also known as the Dragon Coriolstras, aided their efforts from the sky. Okay. Receive my blessing, home High Mountain. Your people shall forever have my favor. <laughs> and this is how the Torin the got Lord their moose the horns. Cenarius. Cenarius. Cenarius uh, gave him moose horns. And now all of his people have day. moose horns. The I mean, horns don't get me wrong, that's a nice. I guess that's Holy okay. But just bring up the question. Like I said before, are these like normal moose horns? I mean, antlers, actually. They're not actually horns. Ant moose don't have horns, they have antlers. And I've talked about that before. There's a massive difference between the two. And that would be very jarring for a tauren who has naturally occurring horns that just grow throughout their entire lives. Uh... Malfurion worked to bring reinforcements from okay, let's just go over here. The so, uh, yeah, just growing throughout their entire lives. And then suddenly have uh, the antlers growing out of their head. When they never had antlers before. Uh, I would find that odd. Because antlers just kind of fall off after a time. And regrow every year. So, yeah. Ah, we're done. But yeah, this kind of quest, I like this kind of quest. I really do. I find it interesting. I find it fun. Uh, and I really wish they would have more stuff like this. Just taking control of a random character with all these overpowered abilities. And just having something different to do every once in a while is always nice. <laughs> Splat. Uh, and it's even more fun when you take control of, like, a vehicle. I guess that's what this kind of quest is, a vehicle quest. I mean, that's basically what you're doing. You're taking control of another character, or taking control of, like, a tank or something, and you're using it to blast we away at stuff. Those we love. And I always like doing that. It's one of the reasons I liked Old War, that very early portion of the raid. Uh, I'm stuck on something. That very early per portion of the raid, where you just ride around in those tanks. Defeat the Lord of the Nathrazim. Ah, uh, just missed him. With his defeat, Damn it. The attack on Ashara would fail, and balance could be restored. I just watched him die, you know. Shouldn't that count? Oh, well, okay, well, he's already dead. You know, he just died. I just saw him die. His corpse is on the floor. Uh, can I just click on it and say, hey, he's dead now. Can I go now? Huh, huh, no, no. Can't do that. Nope. You can't do that. You have to physically, like, smack him in the head or something. Uh Kind of annoying when that happens. Ah, here we go. Ba Boom! Ah. But yeah. Like I was saying, I really do like this kind of stuff where you just take control of... Take control of something else. And Ultvar, I really wish there had been more stuff like that in the raids. And there was tons of dungeons and stuff like that. Which, uh, what was it? Oculus? In a Borean Tundra? Where the last portion of it, you had to take control of a dragon and fly around blasting the other, blasting the main boss dragon, as well as Malagros fight. That was basically what was the end of the Malagros fight was. We got on top of that dragon and just had to blast away and stack up their dots. It was a massive raid thing, and it was so much fun. I actually did like that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a lot of that. That was ever actually done, huh? Okay, this one's the better one? Spirits guide Um, uh, so, so the bluff, of Thunder Totem. May the ancestors okay. watch over you. Ah, I will await you in the there's another one over there. The bluff. I okay, where is that quest? Back. That trinket? There, ring. It's a ring, not a trinket. Here we go. 
And hmm. I think... Yep, we need Beware more. Uh, drums. We need to get drums. Ah! And there is a drum right here. It's amazing how these people are so freaking lazy. I mean, he's just standing right there. It's not like he's actually doing something. I mean, when an NPC looks like they're actually doing something, when they're, like, crafting something or standing by a table making something, sure, I can understand it, but he's just standing there. He's not actually doing anything. So, him sending me out here to pick up drums that are, like, 20 feet from him, it's just weird, annoying, and silly. I mean, he could not walk like five feet and pick up the drums and get them himself. Ah, it's always weird when they do that, especially when it's sitting right next to them. You know, like those stupid quests where you have to literally pick up an item and throw it into like a pot. That's always odd. I always found that odd. The first time I remember that was the Kungaloosh recipe thing in what was it? What was the what was the name of that? What was the name of that zone in uh, Northrend? Sholzar Shul Basin. Yeah, it was right here. Nessenwari. Nessenwari, that's the name, guy's name. Hemet Nessenwari. Ah, it was at his camp. You had to help him build, uh, make booze. And you just had to throw in, like, random crap. Like fruits and other stuff. And they've replicated that quest multiple times. And I always find it odd. I don't know why. It's just one of those weird quests that just doesn't really make sense when you really stop and think about it. Why do I have to throw it in? And why can't he just grab it himself? I mean, it's like five feet from him. I mean, he's supposed to be the master brewer, and yet I'm the one standing there uh, <laughs> having to literally throw the ingredients into the pot. Not carefully place them not lower them gently to prevent splashing. No, literally pick them up and throw them into the pot. Uh, let's see. I just remembered. I forgot to rebuff. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, let's get the rest of these drums. Drums, 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 drums. Uh, and I think... Ah, here's one. Here's a drum. Any drums in there? No. I think there is a treasure up here, if I remember correctly. Because I have been through here before. And there's a ram. And a drum. There's a ram and a drum and a treasure. Ah, yes. Free treasure. Free treasure. If we could actually click on it. Uh, my mouse has been going a bit odd lately. I right-click on something and nothing happens. Oh, crap! No, no, no! You stupid goat! You stupid goat! You stupid, stupid goat! Why? 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 <laughs> it just ran off a cliff. It just auto-runs. You just have to steer it. Ah, uh, okay. Do not pick up the goats or rams or whatever when they're on the side of a mountain like that. It's just asking for trouble. It is just asking for trouble. Ugh. Okay, anything else? Any other drums up here? No. 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 Ah! One. Here we go. Here's one. And we just need a couple more. So let's head over here and grab as many of them as we can. Because there should be some in these little outlying villages. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> this stupid freaking... They're not even goats. They're giant moose. How are... Why am I riding a moose around? How am I riding a moose around? They're not particularly friendly animals. I mean, it's like trying to ride a zebra. You don't ride around on zebras. Zebras are not for riding. They are for... Well, I'm not sure what they're for. Getting eaten by lions, I think. But, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Let us ride this moose. Maybe that's the reason why he's just going wild right now. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be riding on him. Oh. But, yeah. Here we go. That's one. Need to get a couple more. And we should be good. And there's actually a couple quests over here I need to do. So... 
I got all the drums, right? Yeah, I got all the drums. Uh, let's grab this guy. And I think there's an escort I have to do. I have to escort some Torin. Are they actually Torin now? I mean, they do have moose horns. Would that make them moosen? I mean, it seems like it would be. I mean, she doesn't seem... Do you feel the change in the wind? Are they supposed to be Torin, or are they supposed to be moose? Maybe. She has a little tiny moose antlers, which is odd, because moose don't moose females don't actually have antlers. I don't believe it's only the males, or am I mistaken about that? Uh, I don't know. I think it's only the male moose that have antlers, just like male deer are the only ones that have antlers. So why are the tauren females have antlers? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just a visual thing. Maybe they're not actually antlers. They're just kind of the way their horns grow. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. Would be odd. What has uh. the wind brought? Together, Go. we are high mountain. Uh. Little fox. A, a fairly large fox. Holy crap, that is a fairly large fox. More like a large, a small wolf than a large fox. <laughs> Fox don't come that big. Damn it. That's a damned huge fox right there. Uh, okay, is this... I think this is the escort quest I have to do. I have to talk to have her. You come to trade? Uh, who? She has... <laughs> She's using a listening horn. I don't want to know where she got that. Beware the deep places of uh, the earth. So I have to follow her around. I literally have to follow her around. Like, hugging her butt. This is so annoying. <laughs> this is one of the most annoying ones. I mean, at least if she was being attacked by monsters, I can understand that. I mean, escorting someone that walks and runs at normal run speed, fine. Especially if they can mount up. If they can mount up... That'd be fine. But no. I literally have to just kind of hug right next to her. And walk her slowly. Ever so very, very slowly. All the way back <laughs> into the main base. And then, yeah. I mean, I've had some annoying escort missions before. Normally involving massive amounts of fighting. Having to keep the NPCs away. I mean, what the hell? What? Random bird attack. I mean, it didn't even attack her. It just kind of hovered right there. Uh. <laughs> she didn't even need me to protect her. Why do I have to escort her? I mean, she's not being attacked. She's not being assaulted. Well, unless you call that random bird attack, which she just kind of shooed away. But still. Uh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, why do I have to protect her? I'm not even leading her. I'm kind of just slowly, very, very slowly following her as she makes her way to get to little Moosey. Uh, it's that little uh, cub calf we found on the river downstairs. Oh, Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, Ethel. You can keep going. Uh, did you forget your walker? I mean, I could go have a wheelchair built and push you around. I mean, that would be perfectly fine with me. I wouldn't mind it. We might get there a little faster. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Oh, uh, come on. Go. Go. <laughs> See what I mean about escort quests? I mean, some of them are annoying because of the sheer amount of enemies you have to defeat and keep the NPC alive and keep them healed. And keep them from being killed. But this one, where you just have to hug her buttocks. You literally just have to stand right on top of her to keep her moving. Otherwise, she just stops. And even when you are right on top of her, she sometimes just stops anyway. Oh, come on. Go, Ethel. Please. Ethel, just keep going. Please. She's right there. You can see her. We're in the building. Come on. Come on, Ethel. Come on, Ethel. Go, 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 Ethel. Now she hurries up. In the last freaking five seconds, she moves faster. 
Oh. Yeah. There you go. Uh, now that, that was annoying. <laughs> oh. Ah oh, well, it was worth the two for the, for two hundred and seventy five reputation. Okay, and I can go turn in this one at the bottom as well. Or uh, let's see, what else do I have? Um, high mountain. I've got these up here. I could go do. Uh, or I could go down here. Let's go up here and do these. Let's go up here and do these. Then I'll go down. Cause when I go down, I can get the. I think I can go right next to where my uh, blacksmithing and mining one is. So yeah, let's go get these two done. I think it's just two in this cave up here. Here we go. Yeah, it's just these two. And I think it sends us straight into this cave. And free stuff to mine. Ah, free ore. Free ore. There we go. Okay, let's get <laughs> let's get away from friggin' crazy old moose ladies and get back to mining. Get back to uh, these guys. Huh? I don't even need these guys. No, I don't even need you. Go away. Leave me alone. I don't need to fight you, so I'm not going to. Uh, it's these guys, right? Wrath Shard. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a treasure over there. There's a treasure over there. And these are the guys I need right here. Too bad it's already tagged. So let's grab this named guy we need for the quest. Uh, and I did figure out why the tagging stuff still works. It's because this guy's a horde. So even though the same faction stuff means you can cross tag if someone else of your faction is tagging something you can still tag still get some hits in and get credit for it but it doesn't walk, work cross faction so I can't attack horde stuff they can't attack alliance stuff and still get credit which is kind of sad but understandable I guess but at the very least I can get credit for alliance stuff whenever an alliance guy is over here tagging stuff I can still get credit Ah, so yeah, let's, uh, there we go, and let's get this guy dead, and I'll go kill me some other giant rock guys. Ah, come on. There we go, boom. Uh. Isn't this the same model they were using in Outland, in High Mall? That rock, that giant rock elemental guy. In high mall, isn't it the same same design? I mean, you would think they would actually try and come up with a bit of new stuff. I mean, why are these guys on Azeroth? I don't understand that. I thought they were a uh, Draenor thing. I don't know. I don't know. But it's odd how the same NPCs, the same kind of animals and creatures, are across both worlds. I mean, having different areas here on Azeroth having the same uh, animal enemy monster type thing is perfectly understandable. It's the same freaking world. So having like cat, giant cats or wolves or rock elementals or anything like that on Azeroth across Eastern Kingdoms or Kalimdor, that's understandable. But having the exact same model from stuff on completely different worlds. It's something else entirely. I mean, that doesn't really make sense. Or it doesn't make nearly as much sense as it should, probably. And I can't get that guy. Because Horde. Okay, I can't even get credit, so screw it. Uh, let's see. Can we sneak... <laughs> that guy must be completely blind. Or, he has very narrow sight. Maybe he's farsighted. Aw. Oh. Someone else is mining. Oh well. Oh well. But yeah, I, having same enemy models like monster models, animal models, when it's on the same planet, I can understand that. But when they're on completely different planets, that's just odd. I mean, like giant cats. Why are there giant cats on Kalimdor 
and Easter Kingdoms, as well as on freaking Draenor. But there's giant cats, there's similar animals, and it just really doesn't really make sense, because you would think that different planets would have different world, different animals, different evolutionary paths, and they wouldn't be too similar to each other. But they are, for some reason. Maybe it just makes it easier on the guys who are doing the models. I don't know. I, it's just one of those things that I always found odd. Or a bit lazy, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's get the last few of these I need, and I'll go turn in. <laughs> 